And now we come to the thrilling final episode of Radio Drama. Excuse me, guys. I need to make a video. Can I sit here? <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Hey, it's me, Abby P. What up, my people? So we are finally making this video. I said I would make it like last year, I think. Maybe last year. Yes. So it's finally here. We're just gonna get right into it because this video has been long awaited, I know. So we're gonna start off with cameras, of course. I have a total of three cameras, yes. Um, the one that I use the most, I would say, when it comes to making YouTube videos like sitting in front of the camera and just talking to you guys like this or even in like a lot of my travel videos it's this one it's my DSLR it's a Canon Rebel T3i it's quite old actually I've had it for a really long time I don't even remember when I got it it was back in like 2010 2011 2012 I don't know one of the 2010s the second camera I have is this small compact vlogging camera I like to call it when I'm out and about because it's easy to carry around even put in your pocket I use this the most after my DSLR uh, this is the Sony RX100 III the third camera that I have that I don't use as much these days but it's still nice it's still very nice to have is the GoPro Hero 4 Silver and this is what it looks like and it's like full setup I guess with a mic out here this is such a cute mic anyways <laughs> it looks kind of funny but um, I'll explain more about the accessories in a bit um, so yes and then oh I also have and also I guess my fourth camera is my iPhone 8 my iPhone 8 camera some of the footage that you see in my vlogs and videos was taken with my phone you actually don't even really need a camera, like a proper camera, to make videos, really. You can just use your phone camera. Oh. Hi, Luna. She decided to come back on the beanbag. Okay, that's fine. You can chill back there. So I like to have these options as far as cameras go because it, uh, depending on what I'm trying to shoot or what I'm trying to go for, it's nice to have a certain camera to capture whatever it is that I'm trying to do. For example, with my DSLR you can capture a lot more detail and there's a lot more things you could do as far as like focus and you can even play around a lot more when it comes to the settings so I'm gonna go into camera terminology here but you can play around with the, the ISO or the, the white balance and the depth of field with the lens different settings on your camera that make the kind of shot that you want to get so I definitely bring my DSLR with me when I go travel and I'm doing a travel vlog because I really like to, to zoom in and sort of like play around with the focus and capture different details of wherever I'm traveling. So the nice thing about the DSLR is you can change the lens which you can't do on say for instance my GoPro, my action camera, or my compact vlogging camera. You can't change the lenses on these. So on my DSLR, I have three different lenses. So I have this kit lens that I'm using now that I use in, yeah, in a lot of my sort of sit down talking videos like this. Artemis is here now. Hello, buddy. It's a cat party. So I use this lens. It's like a very basic lens, you know, the 18 to 55 millimeter uh, kit lens. If I'm not trying to like go for anything specific, I'm kind of just chilling, you know? And then I have these uh, two other macro lenses. This one is a 55 to 250 millimeter lens, whereas this one, the pancake lens, is only 24 millimeters. So these ones can go very, very close. So I'll give you some example videos that I've, I've used these lenses in. This one, the 55 to 250 millimeter, I used this in my Korean pronunciation video. That was the first time I actually used this lens because I wanted to test it out. This one isn't, I, I don't use this big one for video capture. I use this one mainly for, this is for photography when you're actually taking like still photos. So I just mainly wanted to test this out as far as how it would look for video. So I did that in my Korean pronunciation video. Since it is a macro lens and it goes really close up, it was good for that particular pronunciation video because in that video we're focusing on how I'm making certain sounds like with my face and like my mouth and stuff since the crop and the focus was so close up we're not focusing on anything else like around me the subject was me as the teacher in helping you creating those sounds so these macro lenses are really good if you are focusing in on one specific subject 
in your shot whether it's like you and you're trying to deliver some informational content important information like learning Korean or whether you're trying to deliver some kind of message in some of my videos you see me using this pancake lens where it's more of like a close shot like of just my face so an example of that would be my growing up as a Filipino American video where that crop in that video was very close up and I'm using this lens because I'm really trying to say something about my culture you know and I felt like that was important so the focus had to be very much like on my message that I'm delivering but to be honest too though I'm not always super conscious you know about like if I'm trying to deliver like a hard-hitting message I'm only gonna use like these particular lenses or if I'm just doing like a very chill video I'm only gonna be using this 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens because it's just it's so chill you know I'm, I play around I do a lot of experimenting too or if I'm just lazy I'll use the same lens like and not change it it, it really just depends you know it's, it's always nice to have options basically for when you do really need to shoot a specific way or go for a specific look for your videos and then also the look generates the feel of the video as well so my vlogging camera this i'm so glad i bought this just because i really needed a compact small light easy to carry camera for when i'm out and about doing my vlogs so this is what this setup looks like yeah, like it's so easy, what can I say? So before I bought this camera, this particular one, I did a lot of research on which vlogging camera to get. So a lot of YouTube vloggers use specific types of vlogging cameras. There's like vlogger favorites, I guess you could call it. This one and then a couple of other ones. A big one being the Canon G7X. If you guys are familiar with that one. Yeah, Canon PowerShot G7X. A lot of YouTubers use that one. The reason why I didn't get that one is because I was a lot happier with the audio of this Sony one. I watched a lot of comparison videos where the shots, they're doing the same exact shot but with the two different cameras, this, this Sony and then the Canon PowerShot G7X. So they did side by side. I was really liking how the audio was on this camera. I felt like on the G7X, the audio was a lot more muffled and I didn't like how it sounded so that's why I got this one. For my GoPro Hero 4, it's a wide, very wide angled lens, sort of like a fisheye. So it captures like everything around you. So this is also good for travel shots too, depending on like where you're traveling. If you're trying to capture like really big sprawling landscapes or you want to capture like the scenery all around you so the GoPro is obviously an action camera so yeah it's a very outdoorsy very durable little camera and I got this mic accessory to go with it once you put this camera in the case like the audio is terrible you can't hear anything didn't like that so I wanted a, a mic an external mic to go with this so it looks kind of cute and funny but it makes for a much better audio quality and it can go underwater too this mic can go underwater so at the time that I bought this this was like the best option for me in terms of the research that I did and the external mic options that were available there may be better mic options now but I don't know I haven't researched in a while because I've been happy with this um, for the past couple years that I've had it for accessories I've got two tripods I've got this little mini one that I use for stability and just it's easier to hold up my vlogging camera this way. I even use this one for my DSLR if I'm too lazy to pull out the full tripod. So for my setup right now, um, here, I'll like take a video of it with this camera. Super messy though, um, there's like a whole bunch of crap at the back. <laughs> my hair straightener. So this is what the setup looks like right now. Inception, cameraception. Mics, I've got two mics as well. The mic that I'm using on my camera right now, a budget friendly mic. 
So when I was researching about which mic to buy for my camera for my videos, it was either going to be this budget-friendly one or the Rode mics because the Rode mics are also very popular. But I thought it was so expensive. I'm not like completely happy with this mic because there are there is some like extra white noise or some sound. I don't know if you've noticed that in my videos, but for now like it's been fine. It's a lot better than when I would make videos without a mic and would just use the inbuilt mic on my camera. So this video will be a combination of that as well as my own tips. And then I have like a legit recording mic, I guess you could call it. I bought my blue microphone actually to record music because at the time that I bought that, I was um, really into recording covers and um, I wanted to like make my own music and stuff. I use that one now for my game streams because the audio was so nice on that. Um, welcome to my first Halloween horror game stream. I'm gonna do one of my favorites, Resident Evil. Okay, so this is the finished product. I'm switching to this screen to show you guys. Can you see that? Can y'all see that? This is the finished product. Chapaguri. Chapagetti and noguri ramyun mixed together. And then it's always good to have your extra batteries, your extra memory cards. I went ahead and bought an extra battery for my DSLR and also my GoPro. And I feel like I should also get an extra battery for my compact vlogging camera because it runs out so fast. I also have a backpack, my camera backpack that I use for if I'm trying to bring like a bunch of gear with me. Yeah, there's a lot of compartments to put all of your little accessories, your lenses, your memory cards, battery, extra batteries. It's very nice, I love it. It's so comfortable, it's simple, and it gets the job done. What the heck? Now it's Artemis behind me. They're ninja cats, they're just like switching it up. Yeah, so there's this backpack. And it's, yeah, the size is nice. I can put my laptop in here as well. Speaking of my laptop, I use a 15 inch 2018 MacBook Pro. I upgraded from my first one, which was a 13 inch MacBook Pro 2010 model. And I do all of my editing on there. I use Final Cut Pro 10, Final Cut Pro X, however you want to call it. I had even used iMovie for some of my videos on this channel, my older videos. But even in my very earliest days of video editing, I would use Windows Movie Maker, if you guys remember that. But as far as how I edit my videos, that is a whole nother story, whole nother video. So if you guys are interested in that, and if I can build up the uh, energy to make uh, how I edit my videos, video that can happen as well who knows maybe um in another year <laughs> yeah because editing is like a whole nother beast man <laughs> yeah but it is editing is my favorite part of the entire video making process i would say probably along with the final product of the video and the feedback and having a conversation with my viewers Aww. cameras like i said i just like to have options and i just like camera gear in general. It's nice to have, it's nice to have three cameras, you know what I'm saying? Bonk. <laughs> no, I've always, I've always just really liked cameras for a long time now. You don't have to like have all these cameras to create great videos. There are some amazing YouTubers that I like that shoot everything all on their phone and they make wonderful videos. So, so that is it for this video. I am so happy to finally have this video done and thank you so much for being patient. I know y'all been waiting. I hope this helped you out and please like this video. Don't forget to subscribe, of course. All of the links to my gear will be posted in the description box down below. Thank you for watching another video and see you in the next one, my people. Bye.